Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to another video for Candida Hub. In this video we'll be talking about hair loss caused by the yeast candida. Well, according to a vast array of scientific journals and studies, none of them ever seem to cite regular yeast infections as a cause of hair loss. There is one exception. People with a condition known as chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis can also experience hair loss but this is not due to the yeast, it's due to a genetic disorder. Also, some antifungal drugs can cause hair loss. More on these topics later. But first, let's talk about candida infecting the hair follicles directly. Now, when candida gets into a hair follicle, this is an infection of the hair follicle, of course, called folliculitis. And in general, Candidal folliculitis never carries with it the side effect of that hair falling out. A 2010 study published in the International Journal of Trichology stated that in rare circumstances, candida may be the causative factor in hair loss due to folliculitis. Folliculitis that causes hair loss is known as folliculitis de Calvin's. And Although candida may be the cause of this condition, it is currently unknown what actually causes folliculitis de Calvin's. This condition can cause extreme inflammation of the scalp and lead to painful infected hair follicles that ooze pus. And in some cases, hair loss can result from this condition. But again, the real cause of this problem is elusive and unknown. So it's possible candida may not even be the cause of folliculitis de Calvin's. But if you've been taking antifungals, especially at high doses for some time, some of them may be able to cause hair loss. One commonly used antifungal, fluconazole, has been known to cause hair loss in quite a few of the people that use it. A 1995 study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine talked about hair loss due to fluconazole use. In the study, it was noted that of 136 different people who were taking fluconazole, about 12.5% of them experienced hair loss. The study also looked at another group of 40 individuals who were using the antifungal fluconazole. Of these 48 of them had hair loss. Of the people who had hair loss, many of them were on very high doses of fluconazole. Some of them took about 400 milligrams daily for an average of seven months. The hair loss due to using this drug usually started about three months into treatment. And all of those who had hair loss had hair loss on their scalp. And a third of those with hair loss also saw it on other parts of their body. So let's talk about the genetic condition, chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. A 1978 study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine talked about this rare condition. The source of this condition is a genetic problem that causes the people's immune system T cells to lack the ability to properly fight off candida yeast. The result of this immune system problem is that these people frequently get yeast infections in their mouth or in their vagina. The study stated that about half of the people with this genetic condition will also have endocrine system problems. Now the endocrine system is the collection of glands in your body that produce hormones and regulate things like growth, sleep, metabolism, and a wide array of other physiological activities. And when the endocrine system is disrupted by this disorder, the changes in hormones can result in these people also experiencing severe hair loss. So in conclusion, people without chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis will rarely see, if ever, hair loss due to the yeast infecting their body. Even extreme infections of the hair follicles directly by candida does not usually lead to the loss of that hair. However, if you've been on a prescription antifungal, as we talked about earlier, this could be the real cause of your hair loss, especially if you've been taking high doses for 
a long amount of time. Well, if you'd like to get more information on this topic, you can check out the article on Candida Hub. The link, of course, is below in the description. And also at Candida Hub, there is a lot of information about totally natural treatments for yeast infection you can start using today. And while you're there, you can also learn about a very fast natural cure for yeast infections that will get rid of them in about 12 hours. Okay, hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you get better very soon. See ya.